The humanities sometimes seem like an extra or a luxury, but in fact, it's so fundamental to a country, to a nation, to a civilization, to a way of being and a way of life. And the humanities is a set of incredibly wonderful conversations that have been going on for centuries, if not millennia. And those conversations are the richest transcripts that we have about how we excel and how we produce art and how we think clearly and how we produce beauty and truth and how we come to answers about the biggest questions that are on our minds and how the biggest questions have been answered in the past by deep thinkers. And we just couldn't be who we are today. We couldn't be where we are as a country or as a civilization if we didn't have the humanities. The humanities are really the alpha and the omega of what it is to be a citizen, a participant in modern society. True, we all have to get up every day and think about how we get our kids to school and we all have to think about how we get through traffic and we have to make sure that we don't get too stressed out and get enough exercise and eat right and all those kinds of incredibly important things. But we also need to think and we need to write and we need to talk and we need to create. And that's the humanities is the storehouse, the treasury for who we are as a people and as a civilization. Students, after they take a, a liberal arts curriculum, including political science, know when uh, to discount a story that seems plausible and know when to value a story that is compelling. So they have, they're able to judge between competing stories for problems or interesting things that happen in the world. And so that's the biggest skill that the liberal arts give, gives you. It gives you a capacity to judge and at the same time to retain a kind of healthy skepticism about the trendy answers or the answers that seem to be driving a lot of discussion and to retain a certain kind of background skepticism and openness to thinking about alternatives to what you're hearing about or what you're actually saying yourself and to realize that any kind of judgment you come to is, or any kind of conclusion or inference that you come to is provisional and is subject to change when there's better evidence or a better analysis or a better argument. And so, so it, it gives you both a capacity to know pretty much when you're right and also to not get too carried away with that feeling that you know you're absolutely right. And so, so it, it gives you a nice balance. And that's, I think, really the best thing about about the humanities is it gives you that kind of inner poise intellectually and, and, a, and a capacity to, to position yourself in a way so that you don't get carried away, but you also, you also can, can contribute. Mm -hmm.